Hey, this is Mark, and today I've got a PlayStation 4 HDMI port that has some pulled pads. So a local shop brought this to me. Um, he had tried to do it himself, but realized he was getting in a little over his head, so he brought it down to see if I could salvage what was left, which it's not really going to be a big deal. Um, so these are like data and clock lines, um, and e every, uh, you know, it's like this connects up to here, and then we have ground, and then this pad connects there. And then this one connects here, and we have ground, and this one connects here, and it just goes like that all the way down. Um, and then this one is NC, or not connected, so we can ignore that. Um, so it's just going to take uh, one, two, three jumpers, um, and we have to finish clearing out the old solder. So these are one of the few times that I still use the chip quick low melt alloy. They really help in getting these holes cleared. just want to make sure I'm really heating that up and getting everything all the way through the hole melted. That's probably good. So what's left is not really melting that easily, so I'm guessing the chip quick didn't get all the way down to the bottom of those holes. So just add a little more.
And these holes really are a pain. more chip quick back in this hole. All right, we're getting there. When you get down to just having little bits left, you can sometimes just poke it through. Give it one more pass with the wick. This is another trick when there's just a little bit left. Just kind of get in there with an X-Acto blade and shave those little bits off. Maybe there's better ways to do this. I don't know. I don't see many of these and these are the methods I've come up with on my own. The fun thing about this line of work is that there's, there's probably a dozen different ways to do any one task. Some work better than others, but if it works, then if it works and it doesn't cause other problems, then you're doing it right. But I'm sure there's somebody out there that's done dozens of these, does dozens of these every week that would say, oh my god, you're making so much extra work for yourself. I see these so infrequently, I'm actually using the second of three 
PlayStation 4 HDMI ports that I bought uh, about three years ago. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> and if I remember correctly, these were the ones where the pins don't quite line up with the pads just right. So we'll see. <laughs> yeah, there we go. We got all of the pins lining up between the pads. All right. So, not a huge deal. I can work with it. Let's see if it's going to sit like this. And I need them all to go... Yeah, that'll work. Now there's a missing cap and a diode right there, which um, honestly I don't know what effect that will have on <clears throat> the video output. I would suspect since they're both going to ground that there may be for some sort of protection and that the circuit will still work just fine, um, but I, I don't really know. Um, and yeah, it's not my problem.
I'm here to stick this HDMI port back on. I am going to clean off all this super sticky flux though. Oh god, he's got arctic silver on the on the CPU which is now getting all over my hands cuz I did not notice that. In a mess. All right. Well, I'm just going to worry about getting all this flux and stuff cleaned up after I finish soldering and stop recording because we don't need this to be a 30 minute long video of me rubbing flux. Okay. All right, now check and make sure that pins that aren't supposed to talk to each other are not. Just making sure the back end of these pins that were not positioned correctly um, aren't accidentally touching two pads. All right, uh, I'm happy with that. Now let's see if, yeah, I'm gonna need a jumper there. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, you know what? It would help if I put my multimeter in continuity mode instead of DC voltage. Okay, yeah, I'm convinced on those. Now, let's see. Uh, not getting a diode mode reading on these. I guess maybe it's naturally a high resistance. Oh well. Now it's time to do some jumpers. Before I start trying to place the wire, I need to expose some nice fresh copper. All right, so I think these three are the only jumpers I actually need on this.
just tin up the pins. A little bit more flux. I really should have done the middle one first because now it's going to be hard to attach the next one to its trace without messing up the one I just did. There we go. Yeah, that works. All right, and then the ground pads are in between each pair of lines. So that means I don't skip a pin. This goes on the fourth pin. All right, well, hmm. don't know how much I like the look of that. And also this looks like it's touching. Not happy with those. We're gonna fix those. There we go. Okay, nothing left to do but finish cleaning this up and give it a test, although I'm certain that this is going to work.
All right, so botched PS4 HDMI port, ran a few jumpers, used one of the old junk ports that the pins don't line up, but made it work. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching.